thank you. And how appropriate it is that our first story is a story of our nation's history uh, told through one family member. And so I would like to introduce to you Elon Johnson. And Elon comes to us from Minnesota. He and his mom came from Minnesota. Uh, he was in the sixth grade at St. John's Area School in Foley, Minnesota, when he wrote this story of um, a long ago ancestor, Chief Biazwa. I bring you our first author. Give him a, a big round of applause. The story of Chief Piazza, late 1600s, northern Wisconsin, USA. One day, Chief Piazza, who was one of my great, 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 great grandfathers from the Ojibwe tribe, was out hunting. When he got home, his village had been burned and destroyed. There were only a few survivors. He found a trail made by the villagers that attacked his village and followed it. When he got to their village, he realized it was the fox tribe. The fox tribe had captured a young boy and an old man, whom they were going to torture, then kill. First, they wrapped the old man with birch bark, lit him on fire, and made him run between two lines of people who would beat him as he ran. Chief Biazo looked at the boy, and it became clear to him that the boy was his son, whose name was Biazo II. The fox were hanging the boy up on a post, getting ready to burn him at the stake. Thinking only of his son and not of himself, Chief Piazza jumped out of his hiding spot. He said he was the chief and that the boy was his son. He tried to get them to stop. He cried out, my little son, whom you're about to burn with fire, has seen but few winters. His feet have never trodden the warpath. He has never injured you. The hairs on my head are white with many winters, and over the graves of my relatives have hung up many scalps, which I have taken from the heads of your people. My death is worth something to you. Let me take the place of my son so he may return to his people. The fox people were astonished, but agreed to this, for they had long desired to kill the chief. They released the boy and tied the chief to, to the stake. They scorched him to death. Yeah, so the second became the new chief. It's um, always interesting, the stories that are passed down, and that story is very much uh, one of courage and self-sacrifice. So thanks for sharing that and getting us started.